Most people have no idea what they're even messing with. People like to think, ah, oh, just everybody's just a little bit different. It's okay if we're just a little bit different, but that's where Satan gets you. And see, most people today don't even understand the nature of deception. Everybody thinks everything is just, you know, there's white and there's black, but that's not how deception works. Deception is white and then there's off-white. Just enough to where the untrained eye doesn't catch it. It was a blood that It was a blood that And by doing that, he does more damage than just an outright assault upon the church. It's time that you took the rose-colored glasses off and you woke up and smelled the coffee and realized Satan has infiltrated what is so-called Christendom today. Vance Havner left us with this nugget of wisdom before he went home to be with the Lord. He said, Satan is not attacking churches today, he is joining churches today. The other end of this argument, I keep hearing them say over and over, the Lord commands us to meet, the Lord commands us to meet. He does not. And people have to understand that Satan is trying to yoke up with the local church. He's trying to infiltrate it. He's trying to commend it. He's trying to congratulate it and work with it. And he's bringing destruction upon people. Life being thugs, no choice selling drugs, genocide what it does. And we're going to help you. We're going to work with you. We're going to show you the truth of the Word of God. Holy Spirit, come down. We need you now. So join us as we show you what thus saith the Lord. Pastor friends are in town. They'll come and they'll say a few words. You have to know the truth. Your soul depends upon it. Your family's souls depend upon it. You cannot take this lightly. I'm watching these fine men and women singing. It looks like they're walking on the water. And my mind goes back to that time where... There is a lion who seeketh whom he may devour. His name is Satan. And God says, you better be sober and vigilant, or else he's going to get you too. He really has been saved by Christ and is like born again. And Don't be a casualty in this war. They talk like it is a church of Christ. It is a Christian church. Take up your armor. Take up the shield of faith and the sword of truth. And fight the good fight with us. God is for you. We can win this fight. But we have to know what the Bible says. And join us as we show you the truth of the Word of God in this last minute of human history, these last days, we will show you the truth. Come be with us, and may the Lord richly bless you. How could people be so wicked that they would actually offer up their own children unto Moloch? And then I see almost identical things being done today. We have to ask, did Bill Clinton go to the island? That's the question. If we find that out, we're going to know a lot. Thank you. One of these incredible statements was made by the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 18, verse 6, where he says that, if you offend one of these little ones which believe on me, it'd be better for you if a millstone were hanging around your neck and that you were drowned in the depth of the sea. I'm going to tell you, there's lines that you can cross with God. There's things that you can do that if you had just died in the day of judgment, you would be far better off 
that if you had lived and done that. Special series uncovered. Tonight, an exclusive look at Child Army, young people taken and brainwashed into the terror group's twisted ideology. The grand jury report details allegations against more than 306 dioceses, covering more than 1.7 million parishioners. their life, I studied their lifestyles, I studied what made them what they were, and I found a commonality amongst something in their life as a child, as a six and seven and eight year old, that never was corrected. I looked it up, the word literally in the Greek is the root word, is the word we get scandal from. It's a scandalous offense. As I looked up the word offend in verse number uh, two, it literally means to put a stumbling block or impediment in the way upon which another may trip and fall. I say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for voting for me. Um, Nickelodeon always will hold such a tremendous place in my heart. Mm. Thirdly, to cause a person to begin to distrust and desert one whom he ought to trust and obey. It's insane. It is insane that we live in a society that says Jeffrey Epstein is a wicked, heinous human being and at the same time we play streaming videos and movies just like that on Netflix while at the same time condemning Jeffrey Epstein. Are, is, has everyone lost their mind? Has everyone lost their mind? If you are a science teacher with a student who's, whose parents insist that he or she not be exposed to evolution. We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another, especially our children, to the degree that mothers, parents, and children are comfortable. It means to cause a person to fall away. It means to cause one to judge unfavorably or unjustly of another. So we understand that when he's talking in verse number two about offending one of these little ones, He's talking about doing something to them that is so great that it can alter their life. So much in this place is deeply unsettling. Waves are met with nothing. Those natural instincts of a child, they're not here. I don't know what kind of psychotic reprobate over there in Silicon Valley is saying that this is okay. It can alter the way they think. It can alter the way they look at people. introducing them to sinful activities. What we all have to understand is that there is a great reward for those who would suffer little ones to come to the Savior. But the opposite is true as well. There is a great, terrible judgment of God upon those who would offend the little ones and push them into sin. And you people over there at Netflix are all going to hell if you think that this is okay. I don't even know what's wrong with you in your mind. It's one thing for you to be some immoral, depraved person, but it's a whole nother thing for you to be drawing children into your depravity as well. And that was really one of the moments in my life where I remember that violence started becoming normalized to me. My question was, why was that directed towards children? Why was a second grade little boy allowed to see that and be rewarded for doing that? Many of these children are taught to be atheistic God-haters by the very television programs that parents trust to provide good, clean entertainment. Basically, a postmodernist will teach a child, a room full of children, that there is no such thing as boys and girls. That's a social construct. You basically can be anything that you want. Yes. And I'm telling you folks, this is sick, 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 sick business. These people that are doing this, this is not okay. It is not designed to point you to Jesus Christ. It is designed to entertain you and program you into the world system. He says, But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. 
That's the lovely Lord Jesus Christ that said that. God has a millstone, and He's not scared to use it. And that should terrify certain people in this world.